Hi everybody, welcome to week one of the Birch Gnomes Quilt Along. I am so excited to get started with you all. Um, there are over 200 of you signed up for this quilt along, so I am blown away and um, just really impressed with the turnout. So I'm super duper excited to get started. I bet you are too. I've been sending out emails the last few weeks and working up to it, and here we are. Um, I'm calling week one the gathering. We're going to be going through fabric and supplies that you're going to need to get started with your quilt. Um, let's just take a minute and go through the whole schedule though. Week one, we're going to call it the gathering. Week two, we'll be making the gnome block. In week three, we'll tackle that tree block that is a lot easier than you think. Week four, I'm going to give you a week for catch up to work on both um, your gnomes or your trees, whichever you might be a little bit behind on, or to just give you a little extra time if you um, have some difficulty finding your fabrics right away or whatnot. Then week five, we're going to talk about arranging your blocks into your rows and pressing those rows to finish up your quilt top. And in week six, we're going to actually get that quilt top finished up. And I'm going to give you a few more tidbits on where you can take it from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started talking about fabric today. Um, as you know, I've got a website post on week one. I want you to refer to that post for the accurate yardage in some of the earlier versions of the Birch Gnomes pattern. I did have an error that I found in the gray solid fabrics. So the new patterns, if you've bought them within the last, oh, couple months, they are accurate also, but just refer to the post um, just to double check those solid grays. And all of the fabric yardages are listed in the post. They're also listed, depending on which version of the pattern you've gotten, they may be on the back if you've gotten the hard copy or they're right away at the top of the very first page if you've gotten the digital PDF on my Etsy site. So the fabrics that I chose to use for my Birch Gnomes quilt were grays and creams. Um, gray is one of my favorite colors overall. It's so neutral, it goes with everything. And what I'd like to do is just show you a few of the prints that I chose that I'm gonna be making some of my gnomes out of. Um, you can choose from a plethora of grays, really there's a whole wide range. Um, you can go from the light grays all the way into the um, kind of beigey or taupey grays. Um, but dark grays really do work the best because in the pattern, if you notice, the blocks are contrasting. The backgrounds for the trees and the backgrounds for the gnomes go with light grays or dark grays. And um, you'll want to have your gnome blocks, your gnome hats, and your little bodies to be able to stand out on that light gray background fabric. So for the light gray, I chose a Kona Solid. I've got it listed also on the website, so you can go ahead and choose that. I think this one might be called Silver Light, but there are a lot of light gray um, Kona Solids or other brands of solids that you could choose from. Um, you'll don't, you don't need a lot. This is a really fat quarter friendly quilt. Um, so you might want to have a big variety or you might want to just have a few different ones. You might, might want your gnome hats to all be out of one fabric and your gnome bodies to be out of another one. It's really up to you. So have fun choosing your gray fabrics and, um, your light gray backgrounds to go with them. And then for the trees, um, these were fun fabrics that I thought looked like birch trees. They're either a cream or a white with some maybe black or gray or even a brown background to them just to make them pop a little bit like a birch tree would have those markings on it. Um, it really can be any color within a cream background or white background, but I find that the, um, the blacks, the grays, the tans or browns kind of look the most like trees. Um, if you can find some stripes, it's fun. Any kind of newsprint fabric is fun. Um, you can have a lot of print in your fabric or a little bit. And so just have fun selecting your fabrics that you're going to use for your birch trees. 
Um, I think this is the part of this quilt that people might have the most difficulty with. So I've put together a whole PDF list of fabrics. It's on the week one post on the website. And you are welcome to reference that. I think I have probably 20 fabrics listed that were available right now um, that you could look for online or in your local quilt shop. So these are just some fun ones that I found that I'm planning on making my tree blocks out of. And then the background fabric for the tree block is going to be a dark gray solid. Um, I went with a Kona medium gray, but you can go with a darker gray, like a graphite or um, a pewter. Anything that's just going to be darker than that light gray that you chose for your gnome background. So those are the gnome blocks and the birch tree blocks that you'll be making and the fabrics that you'll need to gather for them. A couple other fabrics that you're going to need to make your gnome is a cream or a white for the beards. I use Kona Snow, but any kind of cream or white um, fabric is going to be good. I would make it a solid fabric, but if you have a little pattern or that um, like a white or cream tone on tone, that would work too for the beards. And then those cute little gnome noses, you want to have a tan or a peach fabric. It can be a solid or it could be just a little um, tone on tone print, nothing too crazy or wild. Um, for those cute little gnome noses. You're also going to need to purchase a piece of Wonder Under or another type of fusible web that you're going to attach those noses um, with an easy applique method that we'll go over when we make that gnome block in week two. So those are the fabrics that you'll need. I do want to share with you that um, feel free to dig in your stash, um, patronize your local quilt shop. The online store Fabric Shack has partnered with me on this quilt along and they have donated some prizes. They have a really great range of fabrics. They have a lot of sale fabrics. Um, so I think Fabric Shack would really be worth your while to check out. They're very quick on a turnaround of getting your order shipped. So it's usually about a week or so to get that back to you. And um, because they've partnered, I do want to say that, you know, Fabric Shack could be your go-to shop to get your fabric from. Okay, so besides fabric, you are going to need some tools to get started. And so I wanna make sure that you just have everything you need if you're a brand new beginner quilter or just um, a quilter who hasn't done it for a little bit and thinking about what you might wanna to need to dig in to get going again. So you're gonna want a cutting mat. I prefer to use a large cutting mat. As you can see, mine is 24 by 36. You don't need a cutting mat this large, but I do recommend you have a cutting mat that's at least got a measurement of 24 inches so that when you have that full width of fabric um, that's folded in half, that full width of fabric yardage that is folded in half that you're gonna be cutting along, you don't wanna have to move that and shift that along a shorter cutting, cutting mat. So find yourself your cutting mat. And then you're also going to want a rotary cutter um, I like this one. It's very ergonomically um, good for my tendonitis that I've been developing recently when I cut too much fabric. So um, get yourself your rotary cutter. Make sure that your blades are nice and sharp. You want to be able to cut through that fabric like butter with your blades. And if they are sticking or not cutting fully and you're noticing some threads that aren't being cut, it could be that it's time to change the blade in your rotary cutter. Another thing you're going to want to have on hand is the scissors that is for fabric only. So you want to have that. Again, I like Fiskars. And all of the links to the tools that I like to use are listed on the website. Um, you can get them through Amazon. You can get them at your local quilt shop or um, in any online quilt store as well. Um, I do have affiliate links just so you're aware of that. Um, you're going to want stick pins and a nice little pin cushion to put them in because it's gonna be important to pin your pieces together so that you can line up um, those triangles you're gonna be sewing with, especially when you're making your gnome and tree blocks and just to give you an overall um, square block when you're all finished up. And then the thread that I like to use is a neutral thread, maybe a cream or a light gray. Um, I prefer the Guterman brand, but you might like Aurifil or another brand of your choice. I do recommend using 100% um, cotton thread. 
as well as the fabrics that you're going to use in your quilt, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that those are a good quality, 100% quilting fabric. Lastly, you wanna have a cutting ruler um, handy. I like this eight and a half by 24 inch ruler. Um, you don't necessarily need one this large, but you're gonna want one that's at least, um, oh gosh, at least about 18 inches long to be able to trim your blocks up at the end. So those are the supplies you're going to need. Don't forget to change your needle in your sewing machine before you get started. And that's all I can think of for supplies. Um, again, the links are in the post, so you can refer to that. Um, you're going to need the pattern. So I think I threw the pattern down here somewhere when I was going through fabric. So if you haven't gotten the Birch Gnomes quilt pattern yet, I've got the links to that on the, on the website. Um, I've been sending it out in email blasts. It's on the Lake Girl Quilts Etsy page. So go ahead and order your pattern and get that in your hands. Um, you can do an instant downloadable PDF pattern, or I do have the paper patterns on hand for a very short time in my shop. Um, those will probably not be available after the first few weeks we get going here. So you're going to need your pattern. You're going to need to go to your pattern when you're talking, when we're talking about your blocks and how to finish them up, um, the measurements that you'll be needing and how you're going to be cutting your blocks, all of those things. So you do need a pattern. I'm not going to be going through sizes as we work through the quilt along. You'll need to follow along. So I did mention that Fabric Shack has partnered with me and I would like to give a prize away each week, each of the six weeks of the Quilt Along. Um, they have sent me some adorable little charm packs that we're going to um, have for prizes. And I'm also going to be donating a pattern of your choice out of my Etsy shop, a um, digital pattern. So to be eligible, to be able to receive that prize, um, I will randomly pick them from the people that post their progress on Instagram. You're going to want to tag um, at Lake Girl Quilts in your post and give it the hashtag Birch Gnomes QAL. I'll randomly go in and look each week and I'll pick one of you um, that has posted your progress. Maybe it's just gathering your supplies this week or showing some fabrics that you've chosen or having your pattern in hand. So another thing that I wanna talk about is how we're going to converse, because this is a video and not a live. Um, I have a Facebook page. You wanna go ahead and like that page or follow it. It's Lake Girl Quilts. The link to that is in week one post as well and in the emails that you've been receiving. We'll have our conversations on Facebook because if there's a question that you're thinking about or wanting answered, my guess is that somebody else is thinking about that question as well. So on Facebook is where we will have our conversations. But if you are not one that does Facebook and um, you do have a question, I am always open to you shooting me an email as well. Um, I may just share your question and my answer though on the Facebook page so that others can see um, what someone was wondering about and how, how we could take care of that. So I think that that is it for the week one video. Um, again, I'm super excited to get started on that gnome block with you next week. Have fun choosing all of your gray fabrics. Go to the website blog post week one of the Birch Gnomes Quilt Along to look through the um, fabric requirements that you're going to need, the links to supplies, all the other information that I've put in there, the PDF, listing some um, possible fabrics you might want to choose for your tree block and um, have fun gathering everything for week one and I will see you next week.